In this example, we've got water flowing through a pipe and that water is moving at a mean velocity of 1.2 meters per second. And the pipe has two 90 degree bends in it. And we're told that those bends have a loss coefficient K of 0.3. And we need to find the local losses due to these two bends. So in the previous video, we were looking at continuous losses due to friction in a long pipe. As well as continuous losses due to friction, you also get local losses due to things like pipe bends. So if you think about water moving through a pipe, if that water comes to a bend, the bend has to force the water to change direction, which is going to give you a loss in energy. So as the water hits this wall of the pipe, the bend is going to try to force the water to move down the pipe and that is going to give you some loss of energy. And that loss of energy, which is a local loss, is described by a loss coefficient k times by the velocity squared over 2g. So a nice small equation where all we're doing is timesing the velocity squared over ug, so the, kinet the kinetic energy head by a local loss coefficient which we're given in the question. And for this example we have two bends in the section of pipe and both of those bends have k as equal to 0.3. So our loss is going to be our coefficient 0.3 times by our velocity squared over 2 times gravity but we need to do that twice because we've got two bends in this pipe so it's going to be the same thing again 0.3 which is our local loss coefficient times by velocity squared over 2 times gravity and that tells us that we've had a total loss well a loss in each bend of 0.022 meters so each time water goes around one of these 90 degree bends we're losing 0.022 meters of head and that gives us a total loss due to those two bends of 0.044 meters so what we've done is we've taken the equation for local losses, which is a local loss coefficient times by our velocity squared over 2g. We were given the velocity in the equation, we were given the local loss coefficient, so we can work that out for both bends, and the sum of those two losses gives us the total loss due to those two bends in the pipe.